and welcome to the beautiful grounds of the Shrugborough Estate here in Staffordshire. We're here for round two of the 2016 Elite Circuit Series. And if you missed anything in round one, here's all you need to know. Amazingly, the sun was shining down on Utley as the 2016 Elite Circuit Series got underway around the famous West Yorkshire course. After an early crash, the action was fast and furious, with the national champion Ian Bibby of NFTO, then JRT Condor's Russell Downing going out on the attack. These were brought back before JLT finally broke clear and got a lead of over 30 seconds. The chasing peloton finally reeled them in and it was all down to the famous final corner and sprint to the line. Chris Lawless was first into the corner and just managed to hold off Sebastian Mora of Rally GAC and a past winner in Otley, Felix English of Madison Genesis. The top 20 at each round score points with 30 going to Lawless for that win. He isn't racing here today, so there's every chance that there will be a change at the top of the leaderboard at the end of the race. Today in Stafford is round two of the series, with the racing coming thick and fast before finishing in Colne at the end of July. Who will be crowned champion then, and who will be triumphant today? I caught up with a few riders before the start. It's one of the team targets, looking to sort of place a rider in the top 20 overall. Uh, we got a 19th on, on Wednesday, so we're sort of on target at the moment. I missed the first round. I've been out with illness recently, actually, so I've just come back in. But last year, I enjoyed the series. I've scored quite high in quite a few rounds. So, again, for either myself or we've got Sebastian second there on Wednesday night. So, hopefully, he can score high. But I'd like to get up there in a few myself, too. Are there any parts of the course that you think will be quite decisive here today? Um, probably out the left-hand turn after the finish. Quite a tight left-hand corner, which will bunch it up and then string it out, and then there's a cattle grid that's a little bit tasty. And then the left-hander, so I think from there, if the team's got three or four on the front, they might just uh, do a bit of uh, locking and let something go. This is a completely new course for the Elite Circuit Series, taking in the grounds of the Shugborough Estate, and so what can the teams expect? It's new for the Crit Series in the short version. We've raced it as a commerce and in this direction a couple of years ago. So we know roughly how this top end works out. We've got a bit of wind that might play a part because it's quite narrow. Uh, the new section that we're taking, obviously no one's done before. It's quite tight into that and, and going to be quite decisive, I think, coming out of that into the home straight where we cross a cattle grid on the way to the finish line, which is a well-placed cattle grid. It's going to suit certain riders more than others that we've got, but there again, the majority of them are crit riders, so they have to ride what you know what's in front of them. But I, I mean, the, the start today is going to be crucial. Well, it's a strong team in terms of it's, this is these are usually the riders that ride for other people. So tonight's the night that they get their chance. So I'm quite uh, I'm quite pleased uh, with the team that we've selected tonight. To be quite honest, it's uh, it'll give some of the workers a chance to shine. So I'm, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing who can raise their game and sort of um, it's very easy to slot into that support role to be quite honest. So I think it's just it's a great occasion for them to see if we can find a, a little nugget that we didn't know about that's also capable of winning as well. Johnny's role, he's our uh, protected rider tonight. He's our sprinter. Uh, I mean, Johnny's a, he's, um, he's, a, he's a very versatile rider. He can win a bunch sprint. He can win a sprint from a small group. Um, I think his role really is to try and save him for the last couple of laps. You know, we'll keep him out of the wind. The boys will protect him. Uh, if he needs bottles, you know, the lads will carry bottles for him uh, and we'll just hopefully, he'll, he can save as much energy as possible and then, you know, do a good sprint at the end. So now it's time to find out if what the manager said is actually going to happen. For all the race action, it's over to our commentators, Anthony McCrossan and Matt Stevens. 63 riders rolling out now for the first lap in this elite circuit series. It's certainly going to be a thrilling contest. There's Felix English. He's finished in the top three overall in the series before alongside Jeremy Durrant and all the riders keen to be at the front. Well, GLT Condor field a very strong team. Steve Lampier, the Spring Cup winner of last year, is there, as is George Atkins, the 2013 Circuit Race Series winner. Overall, Madison Genesis, many, many strong riders amongst their number, including Matt Holmes, Matt Cronshaw, and the winner of the last round of the Tour Series, Alex Blaine. 
Wiggins field a small team, but it's a strong one nonetheless. Mark Christian and Dan Patton for the men in blue, gold and red. Rally have the dual Spanish lineup, two world track champions in the form of Albert Torres and Sebastian Morn. NFTO have Liam Stones, Rob Partridge and Johnny McAvoy, who's on very good form at the moment. And finally, Pedal Heaven have Ian Wilkinson and Harry Tanfield, the British University's road champion. Well, some strong teams in this field as they make their way across the line. Jeremy Durin is the rider leading for Neon Velo. He's an American rider. He likes these sort of criterium races. Uh, but tonight, Matt, it's our first rural circuit race ever in the series. It really is quite a different circuit. Very, very narrow and technical. We saw Madison Genesis riding strongly at the front, but the first rider to try his hand and break away is from NFTO. That looks to me like the figure with a very easily recognisable figure of Johnny McAvoy. Johnny McAvoy has been on great form so far this season. We saw him lead the Motor Point Spring Cup and he looks pretty sprightly again this evening. Lovely sunshine on the backs of the riders. The rain that was promised earlier on in Shugborough Hall here has abated and that's pretty lucky. This course, if it was raining, would be very difficult indeed. It certainly would be a little bit technical. As I say, Johnny McAvoy in this position at the moment, creating himself a little bit of space because of the very technical nature of this course. I think, Anthony, this is the place to be because already we're hearing that rods are being detached, even on the opening lap. Well, it looks like uh, just behind him, I can see the team of Madison Genesis, but he's starting to open up a little bit of an advantage, maybe three or four seconds as he comes out of the corner. He's got the measure of the, these corners very well. And it is Madison Genesis now who are starting to bring Johnny McAvoy back on the front was Eric Rousel as McAvoy now is about to be reeled in. Well Johnny McAvoy he's only 26 years of age but Anthony it seems like he's been around for far longer than that remember he spent a couple of years with the pro continental team in Jura he's ridden such fantastic races as Paris-Roubaix but still a big future ahead of him but it looks as if the might of Madison Genesis has brought him to heel. Yep, they're bringing him back. You're right, Matt. I remember talking to him after some of the classics uh, that he rode in his career already at 20-odd years of age. It's nice to see him, though, back on great form. Madison Genesis then, the team in the aqua blue and the orange all on the front. A picture of dominance as they make their way along this road. Well, this is quite an interesting tactic that Madison Genesis have employed today. It's Tobin Horton just on the front, rounding that very, very tight corner. But interesting, we haven't seen a team dominate the front as much as this for quite a long time and still deep into the race, Anthony. They've got four riders, uh, not including Johnny McAvoy, who sat fifth wheel. They've got four, five, six, seven, eight riders in front. It's like a little team time trial. Right now on the front, Tobin Horton, a rider, of course, who has won the London Nocturne in a week uh, a couple of years ago when he won the final round of the Tour Series in Canary Wharf as well. He had a great rich reign of form. Uh, he's a rider from Guernsey as he leads this peloton. Matt Holmes in second place. Well, there was a few grimaces just behind. Matt Holmes just takes his turn on the front. And the rider in uh, fourth wheel, Griff Lewis, is his first year with Madison Genesis. He was with Pedal Heaven last year. Looks to be suffering at the moment. But there's many, many other riders suffering because this pace is absolutely relentless. It certainly is. Matt Holmes has had a great season so far. He finished on the podium in Cycle Wiltshire. On the back of the group there is Mark Christian, and a rider from the Isle of Man, sitting there in the colours of Team Wiggins. Nice to see them in this Elite Circuit Series right at the beginning of the rounds. Holmes just rounds that corner very, very well, then just gets himself out of the saddle. And Anthony just counting the riders there. There's only between 20 and 25 riders left in the mix. I spotted Ali Slater there, a couple of riders from Rally, and I think it's the Spanish duo of, uh, of Mora and Torres that are, that are there for Rally GAC. Well, those two riders, pretty ominous, Matt, aren't they? Mora, a great track rider, Torres, a world Madison champion as well. Uh, these riders are very, very quick. A lovely shot as they go across the top of the circuit. Matt Holmes and Tobin Horton, the two 
Strong riders on the front for Madison Genesis. I noticed earlier on that Mike Nordy is here this evening, who of course had to retire as one of their teammates, but he's here and he is helping out with the Madison Genesis team again. Yeah, big shame to leave uh, Mike Northy on the sidelines, but those health problems, uh, a big, big shame for him, but good to see him, as you said, encouraging his teammates, and I'm sure there'll be a, a place within the team in some capacity as they move forward. But Anthony, it's still Madison Genesis on the front, no assistance from any other team. To be perfectly honest with you, I think the other teams appear to be happy to let Madison Genesis just take up the pace, and to me, it looks like they're trying to set this up, perhaps for Felix English, who rode so well in Otley. Well, they've got two good sprinters in here, haven't they? They've got Felix English, who has actually turned his attention to the track a little bit. He's been riding the track World Cups over the winter, trying to make himself a little bit of an Omnium rider. And also Alex Blaine, who we've seen win rounds of this Elite Circuit Series before, uh, when he, of course, was riding for Team Rally. So they've got a couple of options in here. Well, now it's the turn of Eric Rousel to dig deep on the front, grits his teeth, gets as low as he can. Griff Lewis is just in his slipstream. They're round the bend. Mark Christian just at the back of that group as he was earlier on. This is some effort by Madison Genesis, completely and utterly dominating this race so far. Round the corner again, not giving any other team an inch to manoeuvre. After the break, we'll be speaking to some managers and finding out whether their plans are coming together. Welcome back. We're in the pits and we're in the midst of the race. So we want to find out whether things are going to plan. Sherry, how's the team doing? Uh, well, we've got S Sebastian Mora and Albert Torres in there, Stephen Roach in there. Um, so the two guys we wanted protected have been in the right place at the right time. And Madison are obviously doing a good job at the front, but uh, we kind of expected that. So we just wanted them to be patient and uh, hopefully uh, Seb can come through at the end for us. What would you like your team to do now to ensure a uh, forward position? Well, they've just got to they've just got to try and infiltrate now and um, maybe just try and find out um, who they're working for. They had to work that out on the road, but I, I think they're looking at Felix or or Alex. Um, so yeah, they've got a box clever, um, but fingers crossed. You know, there's a there's three on the podium, so <laughs> one hopefully one of ours. Thank you very much. Good luck. Good luck. We've got some more managers here, all in the pits, lined up, waiting to shout and offer encouragement to their team. How are you? Oh, good. Thank good, you. good, good. How's things going? I want to ask you over here, is everything going to plan? No. <laughs> Tell us what's going wrong. Um, I mean, Madison are doing exactly what we should have been doing and what we planned to do. Uh, I think the boys just simply didn't have the legs or get themselves in the right place at the right time to do it. They're not in the best position right now. Is there anything they can do to make up for that? No, I mean, Harry's on his own now, so he's flying solo. He's doing it. He, Harry's doing a great ride. Um, there's a good chance he could pick an OK result up at the end, but ultimately Madison are controlling it, and, and they've done a really good job. Not an ideal result so far? No. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's come up over here. We want to speak to... Where is he? Do, 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 do. Bear with me. He's going to want to shout at his teammate quickly. Offering encouragement to Johnny, and then maybe he'll turn around and speak to us. How's, how are things going to plan? Um, yeah, it's going, to, going according to plan, I think. Um, Madison are riding hard on the front, and hopefully our sprinter, Johnny McAvoy, can uh, use them up and hopefully hopefully win, or at least get a podium. How much can Johnny hear from you shouting here, and how much can you offer him? Johnny's one of those riders who, who likes quite a little bit, quite a bit of direction. Um, so he's sort of looking at me every lap, every lap, and I'm giving him the information, hopefully that he that he needs, you know, such as you know how, how far behind the, the group is or how many laps to go. Um, what do you like him to do now? What I'd like him to do, hopefully, is uh, sit on the Madison train, hopefully out sprint them, but it's not going to be easy. If he if he gets a podium tonight, I'll be really happy. Thank you very much. Good luck. How are the team doing? Mm -hmm. How are the team doing? Uh, we're not doing very well tonight. So uh, my little, um, you know, what I said to you before the start has not worked, unfortunately. We haven't found a little nugget tonight, I'm afraid. But uh, we've still got three guys in the front group. So, uh, you know, we've got a sort of a, a slight chance of a podium. So fingers crossed they can uh, pull one out of the bag for us still. You mentioned earlier that you have a relatively new team. Um, anyone there impressing you? 
Anybody sorry? Anyone impressing you? Well, Stevie Williams, um, it, more so because he's so light and he's not, this is not his type of event. So he's kind of, uh, he, he's, he's proved that uh, he's, got, he's got something a little bit special. This is certainly not an event that he's likely to do well in just because he weighs about 58 kilos. So he's far, far too light. So, uh, um, but he's still in that front group. So that's a, that's a good ride by him. But um, yeah, I'm hoping that Ali Slater will get a podium for us tonight now. Is there anything your team can do now to um, to finish strong? Uh, the fact that we, you know, Madison have got eight riders, they're completely dominating the race now, and uh, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're pulling away already here now. So it's uh, it's going to be very difficult to beat them. They rode very very well tonight. Thank you very much. I don't remember seeing this in any circuit series race that we've commentated on, Matt, in the last three or four years. This is so impressive from Madison Genesis. It certainly is. Aside from that solo effort by Johnny McAvoy early in the race for NXO, they pretty much led this race from start to finish, and I'm in agreement. Thinking back, I've never seen anything like it at all. They're absolutely tearing this race to pieces, and the rider just in fourth wheel at the moment, the diminutive figure of Felix English, I feel increasingly is the rider they're trying to look after. Well, I'm making it that there are now 18 riders only in this front group, and literally Madison Genesis have ridden everyone off their wheel. They're about to now catch another group in front of them, so they're about to lap another load of riders. So it's, again, Tobin Horton on the front uh, leading through this bend. What an amazing amount of work he's done tonight. He certainly has spent a long, long time on the front, really giving his all for the team. It's worth listing the entire Madison Genesis team. I think they have pretty much stolen the show so far tonight. Matt Holmes, Matt Cronshaw, Eric Rousel, Felix English, Griff Lewis, Alex Blaine, and not forgetting the local lad, Joe Evans, as well. Yeah, Joe Evans uh, rides pretty close to here when he's out training. Here they go. They go past the next group on the road, led there, I think, possibly by Ian Field, uh, one of the great cyclocross riders from Great Britain. As they make their way around that turn yet again, Horton kicks out of that corner. They've really now got to get everything nailed with Felix English on their wheel and just bring him home to get the victory. Joe Evans now takes to the front, spinning that gear, very, very high cadence. Tobin Horton slots in behind him, almost doing a, dub a double turn for Madison Genesis. Great shot there, Felix English in the centre of your screen, just on his inside is Johnny McAvoy. Just on his wheel is Alexander Blaine. They really are amassing at the front as they head into the last couple of laps of this race. You start to wonder, though, riders are a little bit further back who've had not an armchair ride, because there's no way it's an armchair right now, it's so hard out there, but who have been able to sit in the slipstream, the likes of Ali Slater, Harry Tanfield, and we know Mark Christian's got a good finish as well. Can they find something? Have they got anything left to get past this Madison Genesis team on the run into the finish? Well, you've got Stephen Roach there as well. Johnny McAvoy and a little bunny rabbit to, to nearly got collected. That was a late escape by the rabbit there as the sun really starts to die. Thankfully, it's OK as we head into this next corner. It really is thrilling. Minute. Another one of the Madison Genesis riders has done his job and he swings off the back. Yep, so now we're down to about 16 riders. Uh, Madison Genesis losing riders. The pace is starting to tell. Johnny McAvoy looks keen. Ali Slater moves up in the black and yellow of the JLT Condor squad. Horton again gives this full throttle out of that corner. Holmes looks around at him and says, come on, get on the wheel, see if you can give me one more turn. And just behind them, we see the colours of Team Rally, that spectacular kit that is so fashionable for so many years, the red, the yellow and the black. It is very, very striking indeed. Again, I think you've said it a few times, Anthony, probably my favourite kit on the domestic scene. But here we go, just rounding this corner. Matt Holmes has ridden superbly tonight. He looks, checks the gap, making sure his teammates are on his wheel. He's got Alexander Blaine just sat in. Look at the way this bunch, or well, this remaining few riders are really strung out. Now, one more glance from Holmes. Amazing stuff as we head right into the end of this race. And the man suffering in third place at the moment is Felix English. You can see English just uh, ducking down as low as he possibly can to stay in the slipstream of Alex Blaine. They need Holmes to do a little bit more here. Otherwise, they're going to leave Blaine and they'll leave English at the front of this peloton and they'll be far too far from the finish line. So Holmes now heading down here with Blaine on his wheel, English in a slipstream and the rest queuing up behind. A little gap starting to open. 
Well, the last rider in that long string was Liam Stones of NFTO. He's been swapping places with Mark Christian as the last two markers. Johnny McAvoy just moves up the outside to try and get himself into prime position. Just on his will is Ad Ad Ali Slater of JLT Condor. Also, Stephen Williams just moving up the outside. Well, remember, Matt, last year, uh, Steve Williams in the National Circuit Race Championships. He was a rider who came through towards the finish. He might be a tiny rider. He might be very lightweight, but he's there when it matters. One lap of racing to go, and it's Williams for the first time. JLT Condor now have control of the front of this peloton. Well, for the vast majority of this race, it's been Madison Genesis. But as you say, Anthony, coming into the final lap, JLT Condor take things up at the front. And it's not the sort of ride you'd normally see at the front, but a great ride here from Williams, keeping that pace nice and high and some elbow jockeying just on the right-hand side there. <laughs> this is getting a little bit dicey. McAvoy almost doing cyclocross as he tries to get himself into the wheel of Alex Blaine. They are looking around now. Blaine looks around to see where English is. Uh, Eng English is kind of lost the wheel a little bit onto the wheel of him goes I think uh, Sebastian Mora behind him is McAvoy English is in on the wheels too who's going to take this one Blaine looking round to see if the team are there well what a man to take it up in the final lap Alexander Blaine such an experienced rider 35 years of age now so so strong winner of the Melton Rutland race a couple of years back winner of the stage of the Tour of Normandy rode for confidence for a couple of years so much experience so much power there's only about 10 or 11 riders left in this field now. Alex Blaine, he's a great rider here in Great Britain. He's a rider that everyone loves watching. He's been here, he likes the scene. He did come from Cofidis and raced over here and uh, he has won some great races. On the wheel then, McAvoy. Behind him goes Mora, the world track champion. They're all lining up behind. Who's going to take this one, Matt? This is going to be a fantastic run-in. It's a real skirmish to get into this final corner just on the left-hand side. Still Blaine goes just moving up on the right hand side it looks like uh, it's a uh, Sebastian Mora Torres now with the white glass he just moves round to the front who's going to make it into that final corner first this corner's all important you have to get through it first rally now hit the front it's Torres who's going to hit the front first here English is challenging is he going to bring home the goods no it's Torres of team rally GAC who takes the victory here in Stafford fantastically timed sprint there by Albert Torres English is second for Madison Genesis Mora in third Albert, congratulations. How was it? Thank you. Uh, I'm very, very happy to win. Uh, after two weeks rest in my home, I feel tired after the two series, but now I feel really good. I'm very motivated for, for the second part of the season. Madison Genesis were dominating that race. What was your plan? Yeah, a strong team, Madison, because all the time on the front, all the team. Uh, I think uh, the plan for the for the rally is wait the, the moment for the last five laps to be on the front. Uh, but the last lap, good job for Steve, Roger, Mora, lead out me. Uh, it's, I went full gas for the final sprint. I won. I'm very happy. What a fantastic overtake and sprint by Alba Torres of Rally GAC with teammate Sebastian Mora in third. Between the two was Felix English of Madison Genesis, and that means that English and Mora are now joint top of the standings. What a result for the current European Madison champion, Albert Torres, and what a race for the first time here on a new course in Shrugborough. For all things cycling, check out britishcycling.org.uk. The next race is round three in Skipton. I'll see you there.